Hey, Mark Meldrum, Meldrum's Monster Garage. Today, Northern Ohio Survival Club, because I want to give you an update on what happened at the meeting last night. It was a great, great meeting, well attended. I'm very pleased with how the club's been kind of progressing this year. But uh, as you can see behind me, I'm kind of, we're at the mundane type of stuff, the nitty gritty kind of stuff. We took all the bracketry back off the motor after we got this 454 broke in. And now we're touching up paint here and there and uh, just kind of beautifying it. And then we're gonna get the right brackets on there and right uh, everything, everything on there, exhaust manifolds and all that good stuff that goes on this 454 motor from 1970. Anyway, um, just a real brief update. Uh, you know, I don't wanna take any thunder away from the newsletter or uh, our fabulous people that work on that stuff on our website. Uh, but uh, a couple things. Uh, one is we, the big thing for the meeting last night was to uh, vote for officers. And uh, everybody had uh, put in their bids for officers. And basically it was, let's keep the officers the same as it was last year. There were no nominations from the floor or email or anything like that. So our club officers are as stands with, uh, We've got Joe Bertrand, the secretary of the club. Got Pat Umstead, the uh, treasurer of the club. We've got Jerry Larkowski, the VP of the club. And of course, Joe Desmont, the president of the club once again. So um, Joe explained to the group that uh, our show for August is coming along quite nicely. We we're getting sponsors and we're getting some pretty pretty nice sponsors too. Uh, we've got some uh, really good ones on board and we're working on a few other ones. So financially, the club is very sound. You know, I hear little jibs and jabs on the internet about saying, oh, the club must not have money. Our club is very financially sound. We can put our show on with no problems. We'll be able to donate to charities just like we always did. So, you know, good job everybody bringing in those uh, uh, funds and good job on everybody signing up for the show. You know, it really, really helps when people sign up for the show early. So we've got quite a few people signed up early. Uh, it helps us set the head count so we can order food and order goodie bags and just all sorts of stuff. It just makes so much more sense and it makes everything so much easier when people sign up for our August show, you know, uh, early. So very good as far as that goes. Uh, we're working on some other things. I think the next meeting is going to be out at Stainless Works, which I haven't been to. So I'm kind of excited about that. So it's cool that we're having meetings in different places. Uh, Jeff Stanick, and we've always done that, but Jeff Stanick last night opened up his, uh, I don't know, I guess you call it a train museum. Uh, his shop, his, his train museum opened up his uh, shop. He uh, fed us nice little sandwiches and uh, he had fruit and he had water and big shout out to Jeff Stanick. Thank you so much. We had a fabulous meeting late last night. Uh, well over 20 people were at the meeting. So uh, very, very good. Uh, Joe Bertrand gave an excellent uh, secretary's report, talked about uh, different events going on, like uh, all the sponsor stuff and people signing up for different aspects to run the show. You know, we can't have one person just run everything. You know, it takes a lot of t people to uh, run a show uh, like we do in August, and it certainly helps out when people sign up for different things. I mean, we've got uh, Thursday night at the drags, we've got dinner with the Prez, we've got our Saturday night banquet, and uh, it's, it's so nice to distribute uh, all the work a little bit and just, it helps everybody out. So it's, it's great. Joe has a list together and people are actually describing what they do on this list too. So future people can kind of pick up where they've left off. So that's great. I got a few assignments on that list too. I'm working on the show program. I finally got uh, my software working and uh, I've already got a, uh, basically outline of our show program. And Joe put a challenge out to everybody last night to basically fill that show program up. We wanna add pages so we have more and more advertisements in there. 
and uh, it, it'll just it'll just make everything that much easier uh, when it comes to printing a show program. I, I've always been so proud of that show program because not only does it pay for itself with all the advertisers in there, it helps put more money into uh, the contributions we can make for Toys for Tots and just running the whole organization. So thank you very much, everybody, on that. We got the Piston Power Show coming up uh, pretty quick. That's going to be a great show. We've got six of our members. I can't remember off the top of my head who's going to be in there, but hey, you members, you got to get out there and put a nice display together. I mean, this is I don't have a car in there. I don't have any skin in the game this year. So you six guys got to put a nice display together and uh, we'll help you as much as we can. We talked about getting some of the fence posts from uh, Great Lakes Fence out to the show. Um, but uh, Joe wants to do some type of uh, garage memorabilia type thing. I don't know. We're going to need a table. I've got a, uh, um, a you know, I, I posted this yesterday. It's a card. Uh, that has our QR code on it. So I can pass out a business card. People can scan that QR code and go right to our website and get information about the club, our show, and everything else. Um, and, and don't forget, we're gearing up for Littlest Heroes coming up here. So we got a lot of things, got a lot of irons in the fire. I think the club's uh, moving along well. And I was very happy to see two new members there last night. That was really nice. Uh, and, and one of the members had had some uh, health problems, uh, had decided not to join for a couple of years, but now she's back and I uh, want to welcome Linda to the club. So very, very nice. Um, okay, that's about it. My rambling today, very happy for the Northern Ohio Stravel Club that we are once again, uh, got our club officers in place and we wish them all the luck in the world and uh, good health throughout the year so they can run this organization. Um, this is your social media director, Mark Meldrum. See ya.